Hello world, now welcome back. Now we have already written our first program here and hopefully when you press this button here you um, got this to come up here. If you were still having problems with this and this didn't come up for whatever reason and you have exactly what I typed in here click on this extension video right here I'm gonna put it up for a couple seconds here it's the ex lesson one extended that's it'll just cover more it's just it's still lesson one here so hopefully you already watched that and it'll tell you how to you know uh, it'll tell you how to reset the thing reset the uh, visual studio back to its original settings its default settings here so if you accidentally close this here or you closed one of these here or you closed something and you don't know how to get it back click here and um, I'll go over how we do that here how to bring everything up back up to normal I'll go over a couple errors okay so assuming that everything went well um, we're gonna continue off with this here so what do we know about this these programs here well we know that um the compiler will read one piece of code at a time one line of code at a time here in this case we're gonna skip these first two lines here so the compiler will read these these mystery lines here that will be explained later on it'll also read into this function here which will be explained later on and then we, we, we this is the, this is what um, we're really gonna be focusing on here is these uh, the statements that are inside this main function here Remember, the main function is going to be opened with a brace here and a closed with a brace so everything inside here is what we're going to do all our typing so we know that uh, this C out statement stands for console output and it prints whatever is inside the quotation marks here and it prints out hello world okay and then um, we already know that uh, that this here the reason why this stays up here is because this cin.get it just just pauses the program until the user hits enter okay so that's a start <clears throat> now let's uh... let me go over i want to um, type in another program statement here i want to print something else at the screen here so i'm going to say c out insertion operator open print open them um, uh, quotation and it says my name is I am forever smart 88 I want to close it with a quotation mark here and I'm going to use a semicolon well now I have two program statements here that involve the C out here so it should say hello world and then it should print off my name is I am forever smart to the console here so let's see if it does <coughs> And it says, hello world, my name is I am forever smart 88. Well, that, uh, that's not exactly what I had in mind. So how do I make it print to a different line here? We have to actually tell the compiler to print it to a separate line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, do something else. I'm going to um, show you how to make the compiler or the program go to a new line here. So I'm going to use C out here insertion operator and this time I'm not going to use quotation marks I'm going to use the command ENDL in this case we have ENDL which stands for end line and it says hello world my name is I am forever smart 88 so first it says hello world here and it says my name is I am forever smart 88 so let's go ahead and trace this code here. So when we press play here, the compiler is going to read these two mystery lines here. Then it jumps into here. Then at first it prints hello world here. After it prints hello world, the next program statement says end the line here. So we end that line. Then our third program statement says print my name is I am forever smart to the screen. Then finally we pause the program here. And now the program right now is awaiting for us to hit enter. So we press enter here, then it terminates the program here from this return statement. This return statement here closes that window. Well, um, <clears throat> I already told you that, that the compiler will read one line of code at a time here. Well, actually, um, the compiler really doesn't just read lines here. I mean, it, in this case, it does here. This is a special case here. But <clears throat> because this is a go over that in a second and um, a couple tutorials here 
but we can actually put our program statements in the same line here. So right here, I just have these two, this, this two program statements here on the same line here, and it'll still work here because the compiler is reading program statements. This is Hello World. My name is I am Forever Smart 88. So we can actually put a majority of our code on one line here. We can put just all this here on one line here. It's a little silly. But I just want to show you that you can do this. It can just be one line here because the compiler is reading from top to bottom, left to right, and it outputs the same exact thing as before. So I want to undo that a little bit here. Let's just uh, go back to where it was here. And this this is the same exact code here. Well, now I want to show you one more thing before we go on to the next lesson. I want to show you that we can extend this C out thing here because I don't. It might get a little annoying after uh, writing C out a bunch of times here. But to show you here, since we already know that we can put this on one line here, but let's say I get rid of the semicolon here. If I get rid of the semicolon here, it's going to have a problem regardless of what line the C out is on here. I can have it on any line I'd like here since it's not ending with a semicolon here. The compiler does not know that this is the end of the program statement here. Because it's not, because we need to end this with a semicolon here. Now semicolons are very important. It's very critical to our uh, to our programming here. <coughs> Okay, so let's say I delete the semicolon here, but I also want to delete the C out statement. Here. Now, if we look here on one single program statement, we have we are printing "Hello World" and "End Line" at the same time here. So we can use multiple insertion operators. We can use multiple end lines here, all on the same statement here, and it will output the same exact result. So, for instance, here, I want, what if I wanted to put this all on one program statement here? I'm going to delete this here. I'm going to back it up here. Oop, and I want to put another insertion operator here. So, all on one single program statement, we're printing two lines of text here. And we can do this all day here. Now, what if we start to get all the way over here? I don't like being this far away. I don't want to get this close to the edge of my screen here. Because I don't like to scroll left and right when I look at my code here. Well, like I said, remember the compiler doesn't just necessarily read lines of code here. It'll, it reads these statements here. So we can put this on separate lines here like this if we'd like. And it still runs the same thing here. And I can just I can do this here. In any order, it doesn't matter the order here, this will still run the same exact thing here. Now it might get a little confusing uh, running it like this, but um, we can do that here. So I can just, I can even put this piece on a different line here, and I can put this piece here with many spaces as I'd like here. But remember, the compiler is just only reading this, it's only taking these critical spaces here. Ne the lines aren't necessarily important here. Now there are special cases where the in, the inner buttons are necessary and the uh, spaces are necessary here. But 99% uh, of the time it, it doesn't matter how many spaces, how much white space you have in here. So let me just go back to normal here. Let's just put this on one single program statement. And that, that basically just wraps this tutorial up here with the C out statement. If things are still a little fuzzy with the C out statement, that's okay. You can move on to the next video here because you every you should get used to it by the time we get through the next the video tutorials here because this is a very basic baby step here. And when I use it with more examples, I'm always going to be using the C out statement here. In every single um, tutorial here, I will be using the C out statement because it's just a basic step here. So we'll, um, it's not going to go away. So if it's still a little fuzzy here, that's okay. You'll, <clears throat> we can work things out here. And I want to go over um, making variables, how to declare variables in the next tutorial. So I hope this was helpful. 
and I uh, hope you did not have any more problems.